So using the custom script extension, we're going to do a bit of automation here. We're going to add the IIS role, web server role to a VM and also amend a file called default.htm and add the host name into that. So to do that, we use a commandlet called set Azure RM VM extension. The extension is useful for post deployment configuration, software installation, and other configuration that you need to do. So the parameters that we've just set up, we have the resource group name. We can give the extension its own name, which is called IIS. We need to specify our VM, which is test VM. Also extension type, we're using the custom script extension. And then we have our setting string. This is the important part. This is where I'm adding the Windows feature web server and then modifying the default.htm file and adding the computer name into that. So now we've set up our parameters, we can use set Azure RM VM extension to actually apply this configuration change. And there we see the status code comes back as OK and is a success status code is true, which is good. So that means our VM is now configured and good to go. So let's open a browser, grab the public IP address, and we can connect to that VM and see if the web server is running and also see if the default.htm file has the name of the VM in it. So there's our public IP. And you can see we've connected to our VM to the default HTML page and there we have test VM. Thank you for watching this video.